FIDMAS or BODMAS. They're just acronyms that help us to remember the order in which we need to solve calculations. Generally in Year 6, children are taught BODMAS, and we'll go through why that is in a moment. Most of the children I work with in secondary use the acronym BIDMAS. They mean exactly the same thing. B, the very first operation that we have to use in a calculation, is brackets. So if there's anything in brackets in your calculation, you have to do that first. Second, the only difference with the two acronyms, but they mean exactly the same thing. In secondary, we call them indices. In primary, I've seen them called order. I've also seen them called other. And that includes square numbers, cube numbers, and square and cubed roots. Some teachers don't teach this part of BIDMAS, BODMAS to year sixes, but I'm going to include some in here just so that you can see what they are. The next two, division and multiplication. Even though division comes before multiplication in the acronym, it's no more important. If you have a calculation where a multiplication comes before the division, do the multiplication first. The same applies with addition and subtraction. They're less important than the others, but they are as important as each other. So if a subtraction comes up before an addition, you can do that first. The reason we use BIDMAS, BODMAS, order of operations. I'm going to show you a very common mistake, and this is something you may have seen in different formats on social media. We have the calculation 3 add 4 times 6. We tend to work from left to right. So many people will look at this and say 3 add 4, that's 7, multiplied by 6, that's 42. According to odd mass, that would be incorrect because it's not the correct order in which to do the operations. Now to write that calculation out again, this time we're going to look at the operations and check it against the BODMAS acronym. You can see that we have a multiplication and an addition and that multiplication comes before the addition. So we need to deal with that first. 4 times by 6, that's 24. When I'm doing these, I tend to cross out the ones I've dealt with so that I don't inadvertently include those numbers with something else. Now I'm left with 3, add 24, and the answer is 27, very different to the answer we had previously. If, however, the same calculation was written out, but the brackets were put round 3, add 4, then we would have the answer we had to start with, because the brackets come before the multiplication even though there's addition inside those brackets, because they're in the brackets, they take priority over the multiplication. So once again, 3 add 4 is 7, times by 6 is 42. This time 42 is correct, because the 3 add 4 is in the brackets. Here we have two identical calculations, but we're going to put brackets round 20, subtract 10, in the second one. So we will get different answers for each of these. Starting with the top one, we have division, which comes before subtraction. So we're going to deal with the division first. 10 divided by 5 is 2. I'm just going to cross that out. Now I'm left with 20, take away 2, which is 18. If we look at the second one, however, we have to do the subtraction first because it's in the brackets. 20 take away 10 is 10. 10 divided by 5 is 2. Two very different answers to what looked initially as if it was going to be exactly the same. Here's one for you to have a go at. Pause the video, have a go, see how you get on. Looking at the first one. We need to deal with 12 divided by 2 first. 12 divided by 2 is 6. Now we have 50, add 6, that's 56. What about the second one? This time 50 add 12 is in the brackets, so we need to do that first. 
50 add 12 is 62. 62 divided by 2 is 31. And again, we have two very different answers.